men's hockey team travels to Boston to take on a pair of top 10 teams this weekend. Badgers play at number four Boston College on Friday and number six Boston University on Saturday. Both games start at 6 p.m. Head coach Mike Eaves is here and we'll take questions. You played uh, two goalies over the weekend, each getting their really their first serious play. What, as you look back at each performance, uh, what did you see and what do you like? What do you see that needs to be done? The answer to that question would be similar for both. Uh, in the first period, both were nervous, um, and you could tell for different reasons. It looked like in the first period, uh, Adam didn't want to get out and stop many pucks that were being rimmed around. Um, and for Matt, uh, he seemed to play deep in his net in that first period. I think that first goal was a result of that. Um, but as the game went on, uh, they both made excellent saves, and uh, Matt showed a really good ability to handle the puck and make good decisions with the puck once he went back and stopped it. So they both got comfortable the more they played. How tough is this Boston trip, and how much can you learn about what you are from it? Lots. You can learn lots. I think, you know, you're, you're trying to grow together as a team. And uh, we took a step in that direction this weekend by coming back on back-to-back bo -back nights. That's, that says a lot about a team coming together. Now we go on the road and we're somebody else's backyard and how we play and being up against it and, uh, and all those type of things. So it, we will be able to get right into where the fire's a little hotter. The, the, the teams there have a little bit more firepower. And we'll find out how we handle that. It'll be our first time playing on a small rink as well. Uh, which we will need to find out how this group plays on the small rink. So there'll be lots to learn this trip. Dennis. Um, after two games and a week of practice, what do you see in Luke Cunning and what he brings to your program? He can be a difference maker. His natural ability, he has got a, a very unique and powerful shot, and uh, he likes to use it, and he expects to score when he shoots it. He's got a shooter's mentality, a scorer's mentality. So I think for us, he can be a difference maker, and he was on Saturday night. And uh, he is a, an old soul for being a young man that could still be in high school. Uh, he, the way he goes about his business is, is very mature. Uh, he comes in for extra work uh, in, the, in, the, in the weight room. Uh, when it comes to school, uh, he's got his tasks to be done, and he gets them done. And so uh, I think that... He brings a lot to our team. Uh, you know, you look at him as a freshman, but uh, he he carries himself way more older than that. And as a player, he could be a difference maker for us. Do you like how your offense played, particularly as far as generating chances? Were you encouraged by what you saw? We could be better. I, I, I know that's something. Is Friday night to Saturday night, we were much improved. Uh, but our, our play in the offensive zone can improve. And we have not spent that much time about, uh, about that just because <laughs> we only had five days of practice. But uh, because it got better, we actually are going to focus it on t today a little bit and see if we can uh, shore that up and, and even be more productive and be more effective in that area of our game. Because we have a lot of time in the media, you know, we can kind of go through things and what have you. Do you ever sit there and say, you know, if we get X number of goals from Grant Bessie, X number of goals from Luke Cunning, blah, blah, blah. Do you do that type of thing? Not at all. Never did that as a player. You know, in terms of setting goals, there's always a great debate about whether you set those kinds of goals because and it depends on your personality. If you set goals and all of a sudden you fall behind, what happens? Do you press and things get worse? So uh, there's, there's expectations about players being point people in, in, in offensive production people, yes. But as far as putting numbers there, no. How about the overall play of your special teams? Good start. Good start. Um, and talking to Coach Luke this morning, he, he was also impressed. He watched the game yesterday of how composed our – our five-on-three group, group was. Uh, they, they, it, there's a natural tendency to get over-ramped, and when it doesn't work right away to go off page and, and try to ad lib, and they stayed right on course, and as a result, it was a, it was a major factor in, in us getting that tying goal. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.